Hi guys, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can add a home page to our class teams in Microsoft Teams. Now, what this will mean is you can access things such as recent files, assignments, a bit of an introduction, a banner, and it creates an awesome welcome page. So, I hope you find it useful, and if you do, like and subscribe. So, here I am in a Microsoft Class Team. I'm going to choose the new option now, which is home page, and then I'm going to choose the Yes Setup Class home page. From here, you can use your organization templates, but for this example, we'll choose from Microsoft. Here, then, it will give you a preview of the things available, and we're going to choose the Setup. From here, then, you'll see this fantastic news home page with all sorts of information. What we're going to do is we're going to choose the Edit button. And what we're going to do is edit the banner first. So you can see here I can actually add a caption or I can use this as a bit of an explanation as well. So I'm going to use 2022 to 2023 and I can explain the banner. At the top here I'm going to write computing and you can see here I'm already editing this. At the top you're able to resize and you can choose aspect ratios for your banners as well. And you can also reset and save. What we're going to do is use the option at the top which says edit web part. From here then you can actually update the image and even provide URL links. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit it and we're going to upload our own image for this banner um, so that we can have it a bit more bespoke to us. So I've just used this one because I'm going to do a computing type banner and as you can see here I've now got this computing microchip looking banner. On the top right here you'll also see that you can lay out and use background shading and headings as well to just make it look how you want to. And you can also change how the banner looks because you might want some text on the side, for example. But for this example, we'll keep it as it is. You can also discard changes as well. And then when you're happy, choose the publish or republish. And that will then publish that onto your home page for you. You can see here there's tons of different amazing stuff. You can have a class schedule. So if you've got calendar invites, you can join this and students can join the meeting directly. And that will do all of the upcoming ones. You'll see any assignments from your Microsoft team as well. Again, giving students a real home page where they can access all of the information that they're after. There's all sorts of information on here and you can even add your own. So let's choose edit again and let's add some more things into our home page. So here you can actually update the announcements and banners as well. So this could be fantastic, for example, if an exam's coming up or you've got a message that you want students to see or it could just be a welcome. You can add images and tables and use loads of different formatting options to make this look how you want as well. You'll see as well, you can add resources, assignments, and there's also an about me section. And we'll use this one first. So the easiest thing to do is choose the edit, part, edit section. And then what you want to do is just add your email in there. And what it should do is pick up from the directory, your details, and if you've had an image. You don't need to worry about the one on the left hand side. That one is just a template and you can remove those, and there you go. You can add as many of these as you like for the different teachers on the course. We'll just choose republish now, and you'll see here that I've got about me now, because I've got recent files that I've uploaded in materials, they've come up, because I've set an assignment, that's come up, and the class schedule as well. Let's just edit again, and this time I'm gonna use resources. And in here, I can add any resources that I want to be focal to my students. Now, for this example, I'm going to go into class materials from my site, and I'm going to upload the pre-release. But again, this could be the scheme of learning. This could be exam papers. These could be things critical for your students and for the course. On the right-hand side, you can also edit how this looks as well and rename it. You'll see here in recent files that that's pulled all recent files from the team. But you can also edit this as well and you can change the source. So it could be that rather than the entire site, you actually want to select a particular folder. In my example, I'm going to choose class materials. And what that will do is it'll bring that back through any recent folders and images and text documents from that folder. You can change out they lay as well. So you can change how that looks for the students. I'll just keep mine as grid because I kind of like that. On the bottom, there's also a plus button, and in here you can add loads of different things as well. You can add YouTube videos, you can alter page properties, you can add countdown timers, images, news, and you can even change how this looks. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.